Hey, we're going to do something exciting today. We're going to change the oil in the ZT250. Yep, in the Cub Cadet, we're going to change the oil. It's actually over, so I got 54 hours, 56, and it was supposed to be done either at the end of the season last year or uh, after 50 hours. Uh, they prefer, I believe, at the end of the season each year, which is what I'm going to try and do this year. Um, so anyway, we're going to, we got a lot of season left, so this is uh, mid-June, uh, almost mid-June. So um, with, with all that, let's see how she gets done. Osaki FR691V. Uh, I guess this is a pretty common motor on these zero turns. Uh, my son has an errands, an older errands, and that's this is the same motor. Um, got the little air filter in there. Blow that off each time. I'll probably replace that here at the end of this season. It looks still good. One season on it. Uh, one reason I like this this Cub Cadet when I got it last year was that drip down. This drip down, the when I empty the oil, it's coming out of that bad boy right there. So, and then the oil fill is right there on the side. We're gonna crack that loose so oil can drain a little easier, a little air. So, uh, alrighty, that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's see what wrench we need here. We need two wrenches. See if I can guess this right on the first go at it. And I put some kind of Loctite on there, which is not helping at all. Not the preferred method, that's for sure. I just needed to crack it. Well, that's what worked. Yeah. Go to a crescent wrench. Come on. Come on. Son of a... You know, someday when I win the lotto, I'll have somebody do this. Now, I won't. I'm too cheap. There we go. All right. All right. Holy God. So here you go. Cracked it loose. Okay, put that on there. This is supposed to be the motor oil. So there you go. She's a draining. She's a little dark. All right, we'll come back in a little bit. All right, now we're going to take the oil filter off. It's on the right side of it when uh, sitting. Okay, rag. I put a little bag under here. I'm gonna wash this anyway, so if I get oil all over. I will. Oh yeah. No way of getting around oil on your lawnmower. Man, yeah. probably be a money saver there, Cub Cadetti. But uh, anyway. Okay, so I'm going to use um, the Wix, and what is that, 57035, um, that's the oil filter I got at the local Murray's, I mean O'Reilly's. Uh, 
I'd advertise for anybody that's just what I'm using. So Wix and uh, here's what the filter filter looks like. You know, nothing special, but it is nice and black. It's got the the nicer nicer inside there. Uh, funny thing is, I do believe when I was looking for a filter, the Kawasaki, uh, the Kawasaki is actually made by Fram. So I'm wondering if it would say on here, but this one came right from China land or Japan land. It, oh, I am wrong. Made in USA. Let's see. I need to read that. See, this is the the Kawi, the Kawi one there. If you want the Kawi, it's uh, 49065-0721. Now, a lot of them, the one didn't came, come up, so maybe that just means the original factory. I don't know. A lot of them were just 072. There was no one. So, um, anyway, and that fits the FR691V. So we're going to put that in here. We'll trash it with the and normally, like, been told that you should fill the filters with oil, but can't really do that too much here. But I'll put a little, little itty bitty in there. And since I bought, this is supposed to take two quarts. 1040. Um, I bought the big five five quart jug. It was, uh, again, I'm cheap. And the five quart jug, uh, uh, I, I bought Providence Oil from Providence Oil from uh, Rule King. So, looks like a beer, but it is not. Do not drink. Uh, so, I did put a little bit in here. You know, I'll put a little more on there. But, what you want to make sure you do, and every, all the old guys know, uh, is put a little, little oil on the um, seal here. I've been told it doesn't matter if it's old or new oil, but I just want to put it new. oil on the side. Okay, Jerry, we're going to fire this thing up. I don't want to check the oil right now because it's all going to be in that pan. we got to circulate it a little bit, get it through the filter, let it sit down again for a minute, and then we'll check it, and hopefully we're right on or maybe a little on the high side, maybe butt here's above, but uh, oh, we should be good to go, and then I can wash this thing and put her away. All right, let's see how she does. And 
there we have it. Um, it's hard to see, but it's um, because of being new, it's it's right there at the full mark. Kind of hard to see. I thought it was empty, but nope. Got oil on her. Two quarts is there in there somewhere. So now we gotta just wash this thing. Right down the hours that you did it, and that way. It, but I'm gonna try and just do it at the end of the season. But in case I get more than 50 hours, I don't know. So I'll keep a little pad book on there. Write it down. Write down the oil put in there and the filter number and we'll be good for next time. Alrighty. So there you go dear another exciting afternoon at my house. Uh, maybe sometime you can help me out. Anyway hope you uh, all of you guys with the ZT250 Cub Cadet with the Kawasaki motor now know a few things. Uh, I'll put in uh, at the end of this video I'll show the oil filter, uh, how many quarts and all that. Uh, some of the tech stuff. Um, it's not that techy. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Thanks again. Bye.